Sarah, my friend Sue just asked Jesus into her heart. We've been watching JKTV together and doing the Journey Kids Club activities. And she told my mom that she wanted to follow Jesus. Wow, that's so great, Polly. That's great news. Oh, I think I know who that is. Wow, I didn't think she would ever choose to follow Jesus. Why do you say that, TJ? Well, she's not always very nice to people, and she doesn't go to our church either. TJ, don't you remember our story from last week about Saul, who went around putting Christians in prison? Yeah, Sue's way nicer than Saul was. You know, this makes me think of another story that we find in the book of Acts. Saul, who was also called Paul, he was going around telling people about Jesus in different towns and cities as he went around. And all these people, they didn't come from the same background. They weren't, some, of the, some people were poor, some people were rich. They were all different kinds of people. But Jesus didn't let that difference keep them from getting to know who he was. Today's big idea is Jesus is calling all kinds of people to follow him. Can you say that with me? Jesus, Jesus is calling all kinds, kinds of people, people to follow him. It seems hard to believe that Sue is really wanting to follow Jesus. You'll have to talk to her next time you see her, TJ. She really does love Jesus. I think we're all different when we start following Jesus. He makes us different. I think that's a great way to put it, Sheldon. Now let's hear a story about Lydia and how she heard about Jesus. Hey Journey Kids, let's try our memory verse. Everyone stand up and we'll do the actions together. Repeat after me. How beautiful. How beautiful. Are the feet are the feet of those of those who bring good news who bring good news Romans 10:15 Romans 10:15 Great job journey kids keep practicing <laughs> What did the dog say when his owner stopped him from chewing the newspaper? You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> hey doctor, I think I'm a cat. How long have you felt this way? Since I was a kitten. <laughs> what do you call a prisoner's parakeet? I don't know, what? A jailbird, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, <laughs> um, what do you call a pet that lies around and does nothing? I'm not sure, what? A carpet. wonder if they could be followers of Jesus. I'm too young. I can't do anything for Jesus yet. I'm too old. I can't change now. I dropped out of high school. I don't have the right qualifications. No matter what, you can be a follower of Jesus. Just a silly purple monster. But I'm just a squishy thing. And I'm just a chicken. Fuck! No matter what, you can be a follower of Jesus. I've never been to church before. Will I be accepted? I've done a lot of bad things. I don't feel good enough. I used to believe in a different God. Will I be welcome? No matter what, you can be a follower of Jesus. I am very wealthy. Will I have to give everything up? But I'm poor. What do I have to offer? My name is Lydia. I want to open my heart to Jesus. How can I help? Jesus is calling all kinds of people to follow him. When Lydia opened her heart to Jesus, she invited Paul and his friends to come and tell her family and friends the good news. 
No matter who you are, what you've done, or where you've come from, Jesus loves and accepts you. Jesus is calling all kinds of people to follow him. Journey Kids, we're going to hear another story from the book of Acts, and this is a story about one of the people who heard about Jesus when Paul was going around telling people in different towns and cities, and when they heard about Jesus, they believed, and it changed their life. We boarded a boat at Troas and sailed straight across to the island of Samothrace, and the next day we landed at Neapolis. From there we reached Philippi, a major city of that district of Macedonia and a Roman colony, and we stayed there several days. And this would be Luke, who is the writer of the Gospel of Luke, of Acts, and he would do some of the traveling with Paul. So he's writing as someone who was traveling with Paul, and he's talking from that first person. So he was part of that group too. On the Sabbath day, we went a little way outside the city to a riverbank where we thought people would be meeting for prayer, and we sat down to speak with some women who had gathered there. One of them was Lydia from Thyatira, a merchant of expensive purple cloth who worshipped God. As she listened to us, the Lord opened her heart, and she accepted what Paul was saying. She and her household were baptized, and she asked us to be her guests. If you agree that I am a true believer in the Lord, she said, come and stay at my house. And she urged us until we agreed. So Lydia was very excited to learn about Jesus, and she wanted her whole family to hear. And when they heard, they also believed. And we can read about Paul's letter to the church in Philippi in a book called Philippians. It's a short one, and it's a letter that Paul wrote to the church that's there. chose to follow Jesus. Lydia, it sounds like her whole family believed as well. They were all baptized. And TJ, what do we find out about Lydia in this story? She sold purple clothes. Why just purple? I mean, I know it's a popular color, but you'd think people would want to buy other colors too. Purple cloth was very expensive. They were made from the dye of a shellfish and they could only get it one drop at a time. So it cost a lot of money to produce. So Lydia was really rich? Yes, she was very wealthy. But we also find out that she was meeting with a bunch of other people, a group of Jews who were all worshiping and praying to God. Why were they meeting by a river? Did they not like being inside? Well, there weren't any synagogues or indoor places that they could worship together, so they would find a common place outside. And it must have been fairly common for people to meet by a river, because that's where Paul thought to look for them. She was pretty excited to hear about Jesus. It sounds like everyone in her family got excited too. They all chose to follow Jesus. Okay, now I understand the big idea. Jesus is calling all kinds of people to follow him. Hey, let's say that together. Jesus, Jesus is calling, calling all, all kinds, kinds of people to follow him. him. Lydia was a wealthy merchant, someone who bought and sold expensive purple cloth. But as we read the book of Acts, we find out that all kinds of people were choosing to follow Jesus. There were rich people, poor, Jews, Gentiles, men, women. And Lydia likely started a church in her home after choosing to follow Jesus and and learning from Paul and the other disciples. And this was in a city called Philippi. Why don't we read part of a letter that Paul wrote to the church in Philippi and see what he had to say to them. It's called the book of Philippians. I am writing to all God's holy people in Philippi who belong to Christ Jesus, including the church leaders and deacons. Every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. Whenever I pray, I make my request for all of you with joy. For you have been my partners in spreading the good news about Christ from the time you first heard it until now. And I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it's finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. God is the one who starts this work of Jesus in our hearts, and he's the one who helps us love like Jesus does. And he's going to keep helping us no matter who we are or where we come from. 
Polly, will you say our blessing as we go? May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. See you next time. Bye, Bye. everyone. See you. Hey, Young Journey mates, beginning July 4th on Sunday mornings at 8.30, join the captain, me, Captain Crow, and some more of our friends here for an exciting treasure hunt for something worth far more than gold. And Journey mates, if you'd like to go on this treasure with me, be sure to register on our website to receive a treasure chest of your own to help you along the adventure of the summer. Let's do this, mates! watching Jakey TV together and doing the Journey Kids Club activities and she told me my mom is <laughs> Pastor Sarah, my friend Sue just asked Jesus into her heart. We've been watching Jakey <laughs> Take a take a deep breath. Oh. I don't know, I'm in a good in a minute giggly mood. Uh, stop being a giggly mood. Oh. <laughs> you did otherwise. Man, that sure looks painful. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Take the slaps out of me. We're ready. We're the... Five, four. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so that's act. It's going to be like a is the next. All right. <laughs> Car pets? Well, cars like, don't fly around doing nothing, do they? Is it because it's pets? Oh, I didn't see. I didn't even get that. Okay. Okay. But why car? Like a carpet, like a rug. Like a. It's just on the floor. We yeah, like coffee like table. Car pets. What? Like car, car pet pet. Oh, I was just thinking of the word car and not how it's just. Like I was thinking the. Yeah, like the word like car I, is I say, associated with it, but yeah. Whoops. Car pets. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get it? Because it's a pet's car. Pets and carpets just do nothing and stuff, and some animals are made for carpets. And oh, yeah, I didn't think of it that way, but yep. <laughs> to receive a treasure chest. To receive a treasure chest. Hey, you guys know what I was saying about how during one of the last episodes we're all going to do the whole thing backwards? Huh? Well, we, we could do something for the bloopers that way. <laughs> if we wanted to do kind of a part of a scene that way. We could do it. But I don't okay. know if I'll do it for the real one.